Um, Mama? Yeah. Okay, let's wrap this up because we've got other things to finish up yet. I began reading the, um, the contract thread, um, and I noticed there's a bill out there pending. Uh, HB 561, are you familiar with it? Mm hmm. Uh, I don't believe that. What's the matter, Chuck? Well, right now the law says that if you take a pension, help me if I'm wrong, Fred, tell me if I'm wrong. If you take a pension from the New Hampshire retirement system, then you can only work for a government entity for a maximum of 32 hours a week, right? Is that accurate? That's the way it is now. Somewhat accurate. Okay. Help me out. <laughs> I need help all There time. are specific employees and officials and, and, and so Tom on and so forth are exempt. who are excluded from that Tom by Andrews, statute. Right. Yeah. Tom, Tom Andrews is exempt. Right. Right. Um, but uh, HB 561 is going to change that hour count from 32 to 20, I believe, right? That's <coughs> what's in the bill pending to be voted on in, December, in January. Right. So... Uh, I'm concerned there was no mention that I saw in the contracts related to change in that law. I mean, it did, the contracts did mention the law. The proposed so statute. We could be paying, uh, say, the assistant town manager, uh, what is it, 80 plus thousand dollars. Right now we're paying them for 32 hours worth of work. If HB 561 passes, by contract, we'll did be paying read, them 80. Did you read the entire act? I have not, no. Okay, well, so if you read out. the entire act, you will find that there is an exclusion in there for existing contracts. Grandfathered. Yes. Okay, thank you. That's that's the essence of my question. Thank you, Fred. Okay, so, that's the, the bottom line. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm done, I hope. You're done, okay. <laughs>